Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. In this video, we're going to look at the elements, the main elements in the public land survey system, and we're also uh, going to talk about the order of the survey, the order of the elements we're surveyed in. So, what we're going to we're going to do both things in in this video. It kind of makes sense to teach them together. We're only going down to the to what we call the township exterior in this video. So I've got a separate video and a, and a separate diagram that shows you how they break down the townships into sections, which is really important. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to do an extensive background on the public land survey system in this video. Um, it's it's a super interesting historical system to develop federal land or not to develop, but to divide land in federal land in the United States. Um, but the, the the main goal of this video is just to is to teach you the the parts of the system. So the, the system starts each survey in a, in a particular area, which is which typically a state, but not always, uh, began with what was called an initial point. So in my part of California, our initial point is up on top of Mount Diablo in the Bay Area. California is somewhat unique because it's a large state. We have three initial points. So there's one in San Bernardino. There's also one up in uh, the, the very northwestern part of the state. Uh, but our initial point is in central california on top of mount diablo and it runs over into nevada so our initial point is also the initial point for nevada so that's how things start they pick an initial point okay so ours is on the top of, of mount diablo okay and that gets a monument and then the next thing they do is they run a line uh, north south from the initial point and they set a monument every 40 chains or half mile that line is called the prime meridian. You can see it here in blue. Okay. Now let me let me just stop before I go any further and tell you I'm giving you the general order that the elements were laid out in. Okay. So like all complicated systems, there there are deviations from this general order that we're going to get. Okay. So at some point after the prime meridian starts getting surveyed, they come in and they do what's called the baseline. The baseline runs east west. From the initial point, the prime meridian runs north-south. So you can kind of think of these as they're establishing the x-axis and the y-axis, or the northing axis and the easting axis of this of this grid, this mile-by-mile -mile grid that they're going to use to divide the land up in. Okay, so the next thing they do is they come in and they survey what they call guide meridians. So every 24 miles, they run north-south on a guide meridian. Again, they're setting a monument every half mile or 40 chains. They do the same thing on the baseline, set a monument every half mile or 40 chains. Then they go in and they do what we call standard parallels. So every 24 miles they survey east-west on a standard parallel. Again, setting monuments every 40 chains or half mile. What this does, so at this point in the system what we have here is we've got a grid. Um, we've got these grids that are 24 miles by 24 miles. Okay, That is four townships. Okay, which we're going to see in a minute. Okay, and it, uh, um, I'm yeah, sorry. It's f it's four by four townships, so it's sixteen townships. Okay, so after they get the baselines and the meridians around one of these twenty-four mile by twenty-four mile areas, they can go in and survey the township exteriors. So those townships are six miles by six miles square roughly square okay and they again as they survey these they set a monument every 40 chains or half mile okay so this is the, the exterior so you can see we have 16 townships in one of these bigger squares that's formed by the meridians and the and the baselines or standard parallels now this the the prime meridian and the guide meridians were almost always run uh, astronomic north south okay and that did not change the standard parallels were run astronomic east-west, but what happens is as you move north, your your guide meridians converge, and so every 24 miles, when you got to a standard parallel, they would reset. So when you got to this, when you're when you're moving north to the standard parallel, your your width is actually less than the full 24 miles, and so they reset to 24 miles at the standard parallel. That's how we get. That's one of the reasons we get closing corners. Uh, we won't talk about that in, in this video, but. And so that that is the order of survey and the elements to get down to to the townships. Okay, so we start with the initial point, then we have the prime meridian, 
then we have the baseline, then we have the guide meridians, again, every 24 miles, standard parallels, every 24 miles, and then finally the township exteriors, and those divide the larger squares here, which are, by the way, are called quadrangles. Those are, are divided into six mile by six mile squares, which are called townships. And then they go in and they divide these townships into one mile by one mile squares, so 36 squares in a township, and we will cover that in the next video.